Hi, and welcome to week 27 of economics. So we're going to be exploring some key topics in, in international economics. We'll be delving into the complex dynamics of international trade, the role of multinational corporations, and the implications of globalization. We'll start by describing the policies nations use to direct or control international trade. So nations employ a variety of trade policies to regulate their international commerce, including tariffs, quotas, subsidies, and trade agreements. Tariffs are taxes imposed on imported goods, while quotas restrict the quantity of imports allowed into a country. Subsidies are financial incentives provided to domestic industries to boost competitiveness. Trade agreements, such as free trade agreements and customs unions, uh, aim to liberalize trade by reducing barriers and facilitating the flow of goods and services between participating countries. We'll then be analyzing the effects of international trade agreements on participating economies. International trade agreements can have profound economic impacts, including increased market access, expanded trade volumes, and enhanced economic growth. By lowering tariffs and harmonizing regulations, these agreements promote efficiency and specialization, leading to greater productivity and consumer choice. However, trade agreements can also generate winners and losers. As industries that face increased competition may struggle to adapt, leading to job losses and economic dislocation. Additionally, concerns have been raised about the potential erosion of national sovereignty and regulatory standards in pursuit of trade liberalization. We'll then turn to the arguments for and against free trade. So proponents of free trade argue that it promotes economic efficiency, fosters competition, and generates consumer benefits through lower prices and greater variety. They contend that comparative advantage leads to optimal resource allocation and specialization, driving long-term growth and prosperity. On the other hand, critics of free trade raise concerns about its impact on domestic industries, workers, and the environment. They argue that unrestricted trade can exasperate income inequality, leading to job displacement and undermine labor and environmental standards in pursuit of profit. Then, we'll be exploring the role of multinational corporations, MNCs, in the process of globalization. MNCs play a central role in the global economy, operating across borders and engaging in a wide range of business activities. From manufacturing and services to finance and technology, MNCs leverage their scale, resources, and global reach to access new markets, reduce costs, and maximize profits. However, the presence of multinational corporations in developing countries presents both opp opportunities and challenges. On the one hand, MNCs can stimulate economic development by investing in infrastructure, creating jobs, and transferring technology and know-how. They can also contribute to export-led growth and attract foreign direct investment, spurring industrialization and economic diversification. On the other hand, critics argue that MNCs may exploit cheap labor, evade taxes, and exploit natural resources, leading to social and environmental degradation. Concerns have also been raised about the power and influence of MNCs in shaping public policy and undermining local autonomy. So, as we navigate the complex terrain of international economics, it's clear that trade policies, uh, multinational corporations, and globalization have profound implications for the global economy and society at large. I want to thank you for following along, and I look forward to working with you all in class next week. Thank you.